And uh, so, yeah, I think that um, what we're going to tackle today is uh, let's tackle an important piece. Uh, let's do the uh, the chest piece of this character. Um, so, like I said last time, the um, I'm not going to work on every pieces in pose like this, only the ones that are not symmetrical. But for the ones that are symmetrical, uh, we're actually going to um, repose uh, these objects uh, straight and work on the polish and then uh, put them back. Uh, while I pose the character, I applied a bit of modification to maybe the proportion of them. So instead of like taking uh, the character like this, uh, I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to actually bring it back here. So uh, let's uh, hide most of the character. Do I want to keep the pants? <laughs> um, yep, yeah, so let's uh, insert this here. And get rid of the dynamic subdivision. I could always um, just take the, po the thing that was posed straight and just like redo the modification to the to the shape when I pose, but um, yeah, I don't know. There's many ways of uh, going at it. So you see that there was a um, like a pushing up of the mesh that I did uh, here. So and this is going to be something that I'll want to kind of like keep. So is my mesh symmetrical? No, it's still. OK. So you see that um, after placing it, if I do, if I apply a symmetry, we see that the object is not symmetrical really anymore. But um, it doesn't really matter. It's not really off, anyways. But you see, with this uh, visible now, what we can do also is um, we can take the we can take the mesh that is actually clean and uh, we can simply like adjust it. So now I'm actually I'm back to playing with the uh, the clean mesh. So it should be uh, should be close enough. Ooh, oh, I did something wrong. I have to back up. I applied a um, storm morph target that added some mass to the armor, but I, I realized that I didn't want to keep that. So, uh, yep. Let me just. Uh, do that again real quick. Uh, 
By the way, uh, hello West Claudino and uh, Lico Dolphy. All right. Yeah, that should be close enough. All right. So, 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 so. All right, let's split this thing. Let's have it into another uh, mesh. And this now I can remove it. Uh, do I want the um, other meshes around? I'm not sure that I do. Or at least maybe not all of them. Oh, hello. Have you ever tried to contact Pixel Logic Maxon if they could get in a true local symmetry? Ah, uh, yes, I asked them uh, almost every beta. <laughs> All right, so. So this uh, armor, I'm going to actually use a lot of um, the um, the style of um, one of the armor from Elden Ring for it. Um, I guess that I'm going to start by adding a bit of uh, fluff to the armor. And by fluff, I mean the uh, um, the outer portion. Um. Whoop, oh yeah. So yeah. Man, I can't wait to have this guy in a in a polish. It is so weird to work only two three hours on this um, project per week. It, it, like it goes so slow normally. I can do like something like that in a, like a week or two, but uh, right now it's like really snail pace. Um, it's kind of weird. It's it's weird to work to work this way, but uh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. That's what's happening. Okay, let's load a mesh. Uh, ooh, you are in the way, my friend. Oop, maybe I can put it. No, if I put it down, I will hide. Yeah, never mind. Brush, brush, brush. Um, let's go and grab. Uh, where did I put it? Uh, where did I put it? Yeah, it's a mess there. Okay, 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 okay. So let's remove dynamic subdivision. And let's add this to the outer rim. Not in symmetry. Uh, right now it's too... Oh, 
Thanks for the follow. First of all, it's too big. Also, I think it would be better if it actually would be a little bit less elongated. So uh, let me just figure out the option here. I think it's in modifier. And if I go at curve resolution, hmm. Actually, wait, I think I have to draw it first and then click on it. No, that is not it. That is not it. Um, overlap. Oh, well, sure, it was curve resolution. Uh, maybe it's in stroke here. Fragment the step. Not even. I mean, right now it's not bad, but it just kind of like bothers me that I don't, re I don't remember. Uh, is it sub step? Come on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's that's what it is. I think it's the sub step. There we go. Okay, I don't know why it wasn't working before. That might be a bit too much. No curve, not sub step. It was curve step. So let's go like around like seventy. I guess I'm gonna have to redo it again. Click on the. You see? Oh, there we go. That's good. So and that's the on the outer portion of the armor, but I want it to be kind of like inside. Now it's floating a bit on top. So I'm just gonna modify the depth here. And click on it again. Uh, something like that. Yeah. This is what I want. Um, it is what I want. Maybe I'm going to be picky. I'm going to go ahead and like 0.85. And there we go. That's cool. Hello, hello, Talden. Hello, Kami Eyes. Uh, Marco, if it was me, I would work the whole month and would surely find it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and this is actually seamless, this piece. Yeah, perfect. All right. So let's... Um... Okay, is that good? Yeah. Also good. Uh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Do I want one here? Will that be overkill if I have one right there? Um, I don't like it. All right, so that will be that. I'm going to separate them into different subtools. Um, this subtool now, this one is actually a bit heavy, and I don't think I can reconstruct subdivision. Where can I? Oh, it's trying. No, I can't. So actually, you know what, just to make sure I'm not working with like a mesh that's going to be like extremely heavy, I'm actually just going to take a second and I'm going to do is it remesh here. Uh, how many do I want? I'm going to be generous. Five. There we go. It's going to take a while. It's like, after all, it's a spiral shape, so it's kind of, uh, kind of heavy. So you see that, you see that kind of like ornamental detail on meshes that are kind of, um, like fancy a little bit. And, uh, uh, I mean, I, I explained it a lot already, but the way that I see this character is he has an armor that is 
Um, oh, thanks for the follow. It's salvaged from like a, another a knight or another like a warrior that, that either he defeated or he found anyway. But yeah, the idea is. Uh, All right, so that's step one. Uh, in terms of like ornamental detail, uh, the rest is probably going to be simply um, the 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 the. For the only word that I can find is a bar relief, which will be like the ornamental detail on top. Um, but also, I want him to have the um, to have the uh, the kind of like uh, those dots here that this character has. Also, there's going to be some um, some plate-ish uh, things happening. So, um, oh, you know what? I think I've placed the ornaments uh, a bit too quickly. I didn't think about uh, the uh, those plate things. Hmm. Let's see if we can uh, if we can hack it. Normally, I would have a uh, I would have split my uh, my mesh accordingly. Oh. Okay. Let's. Uh... Well, I mean, I could I could do it cleanly. I mean, I still have like a line here that's a. Uh... A good line to use for this. I split it here. So let's keep let's split those this mesh in two. Uh, maybe a little bit more at the back. A little less. There we go. Like this, and uh, since it, they are different pulley group, let's split them. Let's redo their panel loops. Did I not activate symmetry? Oh, that's that's silly. Okay, Marin Weld uh, fixed all of that, so we're good. There we go. Let's do a little extrusion here. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna do that in a, I think I'm gonna collapse Into subdivision, I won't. I won't really need to have a more um, yeah. I don't think I'm going to need to have more uh, need more of that dynamic subdivision. I'll go straight into uh, yep. So I'm going to apply that as a, a real subdivision now.
this part here, I'm going to simply mask like this. I'm going to sharpen the mask a little bit and I'm going to move outwards. I'm going to hide my frog for a second. And I'm going to move this piece a little bit more on top here. Going to smooth that a little bit. There we go. Now that I should have done after, let's see if I can kind of uh, fake it. Um, or maybe I should just redo them instead of fighting against it. Um, yep, yeah, let's just redo them. I didn't think uh, ahead, but uh, but do I want to? Actually, you know what I'm gonna do. Let's duplicate this here. We're not gonna redo them. We're actually gonna <laughs> I still forgot my um when forgot my uh Symmetry again. Sorry, I have to repeat that again. Now I did not forget my... All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Now we are good, now we are okay. So for this portion, I'm actually going to delete things up to here. Delete it, close hole. Hey, thanks for the follow. All right, and let's just kind of like curve it like this and make it go up like this. There we go. And same for this piece here. Close hole.
There you go. Just like that. Just like that. Okay, let's add the um, the bolts, parts, and then I'm going to actually work all the ornaments around them. Um, so yeah, let's just grab this button here. Later, I, it's going to be what much more ornamental. What I'm going to do to this button here. Let's apply local symmetry. Yeah, something like that, and um, maybe let's have some for the the sides, like smaller ones. Come on. Actually for those, I think I should be using like some like IMM thing that I know I can uh, go back to, to have the exact same shape. So let's just grab like a little uh, something here. I haven't checked the, the chat for a while. Hello there. Hey, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> yes, I sound better. <laughs> no, I, I'm good now. Uh, I'm still a little bit sick. You're always sick when you have a kid. But uh, I'm uh, I'm good. I'm good to work. <laughs> hey, dude, what did you use to do those iron braids? Uh, it's an IMM of like a braid. I just created like a braid. Oh, I didn't realize uh, I got a subscription. Sorry, <laughs> I just I just noticed that. Uh, so yeah, thanks. It's uh, it's really appreciated. Thank you so much. Oh, you see, I think that's actually the exact same mesh. Also, that's funny. What about this one here? Yeah, this one's a bit more of the good size. Okay. Oh, let's go with that, I guess. Okay. And, you know, already, oh, thanks for the follow. Already I'm going to do something here. I'm going to take my move and I'm going to apply some back face and I'm going to actually like push them inside of the armor. Just in case I end up like printing this character someday uh, that will already be done. So like to avoid to have like floating meshes and whatnot. So might as well do the same for, for these guys here. There we go. All right. Just want to check something here. Now I'm going to put a little uh, picture of him here. All right, cool. 
Let's save this. Will be a super cool miniature or a super cool quarter size statue. <laughs> Planning on opening a Discord server. Uh, I already have a Discord server. So for anybody interested to join our Discord server, you can go on the link below here and you will see that there will be, this is like to see all of our links. Uh, you'll see that there is a link to go join our Discord server. Do it now, do it now. Don't wait. All right, so, 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 so now that we have, okay. Now that we have um, one, like this kind of like uh, separation on the armor here for functionality, I think I, I'm still gonna want to uh, have um, other separations. So uh, I'm gonna go in layer and I'm already gonna start working on this. Um, I'll make it sharper than this, but uh, let's uh, lazy mouse this. And to be able to uh, make it just a bit sharper, I'm just going to change the tip for this one here. It's just like a little bit sharper at the fall off. Okay, and in terms of um, in terms of uh, the uh, the line flow, I think I'm going to kind of like follow this line here. And what the hell is this? Did I do that? Okay. Whatever. So, okay, so when you have like step like this here, the resolution is not really good for the line. Uh, you just uh, reduce the lazy step and the help. You might need to reduce the intensity, the Z intensity afterwards though. My lazy mouse is not. Is that good? Is that what I want? I want more curve. smaller more intensity we'll get it right we'll get it right all right bingo that's good do i want to do a double rim or just start with one let's do a double one let's have it being tapered a little bit And let's make it even smaller. Or actually, you know what? Hmm. No, I think I'm gonna actually want to place maybe some uh, something inside. So we'll just place the motif inside first. Okay, so uh let's go back to this uh after now in the middle here i want something that looks uh like kind of like those things here so uh what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my orb crack first of all i'm going to save a morph target of this uh, i'm going to duplicate this mesh for later I have like an idea of maybe why I'll need to keep OK, 
okay and let's have a better step for the lazy mouse okay so i'll actually the reason why i, I want to take orb crack to this is because i actually want the profile to be uh some like this right So what I'll do is I will uh, I will kind of like work half with masks and half with um, I need to reduce reduce the subdivision of this. So I'm kind of like blurring it right now. Okay, so you see like how it falls off. Actually, I want the opposite of uh, of that. So I'm going to select something like this. And then I'm going to control click here. Control click a little bit more because it's not going large enough. All right. And if I do a uh, inflate, so you see it actually like gives me like this kind of like this fall off. It's it's not still not enough. Uh, thanks for the follow. Let's do it a bit more. So just so it gives like that little like this thing here. Let's smooth it. I'm not sure why here and here there's those those the things, but whatever I'll I'll do with them. Um, now I'll grab my morphed target to reduce in this area here. All right. Um, So a reminder of like when my mesh is uh, getting hidden by the okay it goes it goes pretty high so uh, okay I have to account for uh, for this all right still not lazy moused enough want to make sure to have a decent curve. here as well and maybe you should actually come from okay I'm gonna want those two like this Right now I'm just play I'm, I am, I need to be clean by doing this but I'm just placing like the the line flow of things
Uh, so like that. Right. And uh, in between there will be also some uh, more like smaller ornament, ornamental detail, but you get like a gist of like the, the line flow I'm going for. So uh, now that we have this, let's try to just uh, polish this. Um, Salut Marco, ça fait un petit moment que je suis pas venu. Shame on me, glad to be back. Well, glad to have you here. Okay, so what I will start by doing is just like smoothing a little bit of that so it kind of like all melts together a bit. Not too much also. And uh, now I'll go to damn standard and I'll try to just, not a really, really strong damn standard, but I'll just try to kind of give some resolution to, to what I just did. Also make sure it really all connects together correctly. Thanks for the follow. And may and work on the uh, the ends here. Uh, the reason why I'm using uh, dam standard for this is because uh, it naturally naturally pinches things together, and um, I don't know. I just find that it's um, working uh, more in my advantage when it comes to kind of like having like shapes and things around it conform all together.
So yeah, the little um, little detail that I had that was not looking good. Uh, I knew I was going to create like um to pass over it. Let's say that's why I was like, eh, never mind, never mind to clean it. Yeah, even the step of my uh, damn standard, I need to fix it. The lazy step, I mean. You have to be um, cautious still when you're uh, working with the uh, the dam standard this way because if you give like too much broad, uh, brush strokes, it can start to get like a little bit like dirtier and dirtier and not look polished so much. But at the same time, at the same time, uh, this is I don't like what I I just did right there. By the way. But at the same time, it's uh, since it's uh, something that's like hammered, like smitted by hand, constructed by hand, um, imperfections are acceptable, unlike uh, sci fi and uh, sci fi stuff. Uh, thanks for the follow, by the way. No, I don't like the line flow of that. That's good. So yeah, it's a bit laborious, but uh, I really want to make sure it looks good since it's a uh, frontal piece of the character. No? I don't think I need that. Thanks for the follow. All right, so you can see that for the, the part at the bottom is going to be pretty much a rinse and repeat of that. But uh, that's what 3D is, a lot of rinse and repeat. Um, yeah, I like the repeat part of things also, because at some point when it becomes second nature, it kind of like becomes, a kind of like a meditation thing almost. Like you enter a certain vibe and uh, you just you just write it for a while. I'll need to have my 
smooth tar uh it's kind of hard to have a perfect line flows and curves that's not bad Also, like I, I really analyze where I find that there is not enough mass and when there is enough. And I like when I follow a line and then like I will more or less press on the on the pen in those areas. So I, I don't just like uniformly press the same strength everywhere. I kind of like account for when things uh, need a little bit more and such. I'll get rid of the lazy mouse because uh, I'm lacking control over precise curves. There's kind of like an error in the line flow of uh, my things here. Do I have a morph target for that? Mm. I think this one here. Yep, yeah, there you go. Thank you, morph target. Oops, 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 oops. It's funny, my um my son is uh, at a point where he just like loves to say uh oh and like every time every time something happens where um like something bad happens, he's just like, uh oh. Like in you either like if you watch like a sh he watches a show on TV or um, by the way he's two right now, and uh, like if he was watching a show on TV, he's gonna say those things. Or um, but the most obnoxious is like sometimes he'll just like intentionally throw something on the floor, and he's just gonna be like, uh oh, and it's like so passive aggressive. <laughs> It's so fucking funny. I mean, it's like I don't. I try not to laugh because I don't want to encourage him to like repeat that. Like that sucks to have to clean stuff. But it's just so funny that like some. It's oh my god. If it's intentional, it's so funny. It's so passive aggressive. Let me see if I want to add some. I need to go back in my um, in my orb crack.
of this character be print, game, or film? Um, most probably print, I'd say. I love the stage when they put their hands up, palm up, and say, what happened? <laughs> yeah, my, yeah, mine is doing that also. What just happened? Yeah, mine is um, mine does that when uh, he's looking for something. It can be like a person or like a toy, and he'll just like be like, like, where is, where is it? It's so cute. what I'll say at this stage. All right. Yeah, it's starting to look cool. Sounds like I'm tooting my own horn, but at the same time, have to be happy with what you're doing. Oh, uh, pat on the back once in a while. Okay, let's. I don't know if it's actually going to create uh, to be that useful. I'm going to see if I cannot H polish a bit of some of the borders that are less. Um... Hey, yeah, thanks for the follow. Now, the thing about the polish is that if I don't do an alt polish, it kind of like destroys the uh, the floor on which it stands, so that's why I'm going to need the morph brush to kind of like remake that clean. So like I said, works well when you're using alt, but it gets uh, pretty quickly... Uh... Hey! Thanks for the subscription right there, that's much appreciated. Thanks for the subscription, Brandon. Oh, 
doing good doing good i hope that you're doing good yourself as well doing even better now that i have subscription Ooh yeah Oh yeah, that, that cleaning pass is going to help a little bit. So now, do I need my morph brush? Yeah, it's kind of a, kind of helping a bit. There we go. Clean, clean, clean. Here for me, that's fine. That's good, that's good, that's good. Okay, all right. So um, I guess that for like these, uh, I think we can call it uh, call it done for this frontal ornamental part. Let's combine a couple of layers together. Okay. Let's save this and let's uh, figure out what we're gonna do for the empty spaces i kind of like want to mix um like there's a um, like a, a jro uh, package of like or ornaments that uh, i like to use um this one And uh, yeah, so um, I can probably try to kind of like kid bash it a little bit. Um, that's what I did for the uh, torso part of uh, my Batman uh, samurai that I did for um, for XM Studios. So yeah, it's always like um like mixing them, just figuring out what works. Thing is like, you don't always necessarily have like the shape that you need. So, um, Yeah, thanks for the follow. All right, it's been a while that I did that, so um, please uh, bear with me on this one. Uh, we're gonna see. We're gonna see how we can make that happen. Well, thanks again, Brendan. Uh, Matt de Vietro. Having the frog. So cool to see something fantasy. <laughs> yeah, it's been uh, it's been a while. So um, I'm happy to be on the to be on that. Okay. So yep, let's just go with uh, the festival of. Uh, the Kit Bash Festival. <laughs> Put that back here. But after we'll be done with those things, 
and it will be blend blended correct uh, together correctly. We'll just need to do like a little damage pass, and uh, that'll be done. Or even the damage pass, I can do it. Uh, I can do it after we're uh, we're done. Uh, I mean, like after the posing, basically. You know, we'll see. And thanks for the follow. All right, all right. I'm like dilly dallying because I'm not sure where to start. Also, I think uh, drag dot is gonna gonna be better for that. So the idea is that I'm not going to keep them sharp like that. I'm actually going to have to like smooth them like this, right? Figure out if the intensity is fine. Also, it's kind of like stepping on the other ones. Like, there's a way to go quickly with that. But there's also a way to be pretty slow. Once again, drag dot. Let's see if we can't use symmetry on this. Not use symmetry, but like make it symmetrical, I mean. And but when using drag dot, never start in the area where you want your thing to land. Always start somewhere else because you need to define the angle, and the angle is defined by the direction that you are dragging the dot. So yeah. So now the question is, is that good? Am I doing a good job? It would be better if it would be like right here. So you see, I guess I'm actually going to. Delete this one. Oh, what was the good size again? Uh, there we go. I'm going to try to place it, connect it to the other one. Ah, oh, but it's not fitting correctly. Let's just put it a little smaller. Uh, I think this one might work. Yeah, that's cool. Well, now let's just find something to place in the middle of that. 
I think there was like a it's really just a question of like finding things like that have like a somewhat of a similar line flow that would work there you go and uh it become it, it becomes a bit easier at some point when it's just like when it becomes just finding like the correct filler like right now we're this is going to be filler here and it's uh it's a bit easier So has to make sure that it's the good size and everything but in terms of like figuring out line flow it, it kind of like finds itself i find Yeah, I think drag dot is a very valuable uh, tool as well. I need one that is a bit longer.
<sighs> yeah, it's a bit of a tedious process, but uh, it'll look good in the end. At some point, I'm going to stop uh, placing those kind of details because it's going to be a bit. Um, Like the frequency frequency is going to become like too high. The reason why I'm switching sides. When I work like this, is because um, I don't have to do a flip of the alpha, depending on which side I'm uh, working. I'm going to remove those here. They're a bit too much. All right. Uh, maybe something on the top here. Whoa, trippy. You know what? You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to delete a bit of top here. Oops, not that strong. And I'm actually going to try to make this fit with that ornament part here because uh, although it's like pre-made and complex uh, I think it's going to work well maybe a bit strong not strong enough All right, I think that's going to be good. Maybe I'm going to add just a... Uh... 
Okay, so now that we have this, let's make another pass. So in that layer, I'm gonna um, blur a bit what we have here, just to kind of like melt it in the shapes. Like this, and then let's uh, go back to our dam standard and let's try to like blend the both together. So much detail, yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, I like the details. Jimmy Lannister armor. Uh, it does look like it, eh?
So I don't know if you um, you see what I mean by uh, blending the details together. Do you have a reference that helped you or just trying some stuff because it looks amazing? Um, well, I mean, I'm mainly trying stuff. I have like, I was, I had like an idea of like the art direction in general for the type of armor, but this line flow is like mainly, uh, just me like using my mind's eye. And, uh, thanks for the compliment.
Mm, thanks for the follow. So you see, I went back to my to the IMMs because I knew I had like one of the shape that actually had this S shape I was looking for. So basically, I'm just add, adding frequencies of detail inside of the uh, inside of the armor. And um, I'm being not extremely clean right now in what I'm doing, but um, the reason why I give myself permission to not be extremely clean is because I know I'm going to add a damage pass over it. But you see like here, like it's not super clean. Like I could... I could, I should maybe clean a little bit, maybe a little bit of a smooth directional is going to help with this part here. Smooth directional, only problem, it doesn't work with the symmetry. So you need to kind of like reapply symmetry afterwards. It's a bit cleaner.
All right. Let's um, apply the smart resim I was talking about. I start with lower level, work myself up to higher level or else might actually crash. So the last part that I'm wondering if I want to put some frequencies of detail is just these things here. Let me try something. And uh, we'll see. That small detail we might actually never really seen, so I need to kind of like get out of that focus that I have on this soon because it's not going to be worth the time. Okay.
All right. Good. So this is good for the frontal part. So for the sides, I'm actually going to try to get away with um, with uh, just uh, the ba the the kid bashing of the uh, these details together because it's less of a focus area or a design area. So, uh, oh, sorry, I just noticed one thing. Yep, that's good. Let's save this. All right, so for the bottom, let's, uh, like I said, let's just try to get away with uh,
I think after all, I'm going to add one of those little like borders. Right. Damn standard for the win. You are absolutely right. Sorry, I'm a bit slow with the uh, with the chat tonight. It's um, it's really something that requires a lot of focus, especially if you if I want to advance on the character and not be stuck. Uh, with him in December.
I'm just warping the uh, mesh here a little bit just to try to give some movement because I'm having a hard time placing this part with this part here. So I think I'm going to be it's going to be in my advantage to warp them a bit. Uh, for the side, it's going to be good enough. It's not the best, but... Maybe I'm going to add a little something-something here.
All right, and for the back, it's going to be even less, even less attention to it. But you know what, I'll still, I'll still take care of it. And the reason why I'm going to put less attention to it, it's because I know that in, especially in presentation, I'm really not going to uh, focus on this. Almost good enough.
having a hard time. Oh, there you go. Wanted to get this thing in symmetry. There we go. Yeah, it's coming together. Coming together. Um, we're pretty much at, uh, we're very close to the end of that. Gosh. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, I hope it didn't crash. Okay, so there is a... There's a sub-tool that exploded though. I even save this? Okay, but what's the sub tool that exploded then? Okay, let's just see if. Oh, okay. It was that in that subtool here? It's the head that 
collapse. It's funny because on the Discord today, somebody asked me the exact question, this exact question, and that subtool here is the one that is problematic. And that it's often what happens when I pose a head. I don't know why. Often it does that. It's it's freaky, but um, at least we're good. I can delete that. Um, If I reopen the file, it should be not corrupted. But yeah, for some reason, those, um, I don't know why heads, I don't know why heads, but like heads often, they do that. They just like crash at some point. All right, but we're good with that sub tool. Whew, that was, uh, that was scary. That been said, I need to reload. I just, uh, yeah, well, I, I'm going to need a few of the ones that I used because we need to do the trim at the bottom. Might be good with that. Okay. Oof. Scary, scary stuff.
there's just this section here that I know I was a bit uh, rough with. At the same time, it's the back, so who cares? Uh, There you go, good enough. So let's just apply some smoothing on this. All right. Like I said, the back not as pleasant as the front, but it's gonna be all right. Okay, all right, do I wanna do one last thing before placing that on our posed character? I should probably work on the uh, little buttons there. Hey, thanks for the follow. Thanks for the comment. Thanks everyone. Hey, thanks for the sub. Much appreciated. Cardboard Katana. It's actually a cool name. Thanks for the follow. Hey, thanks for the follow. All right, that's cool.
let's do something about those buttons real quick and then jump to the posed. Maybe I should put those little uh, torsad kind of thing, twisty things around like I did. All right, let's load them up. So I have to create a um, a different sub tool for the line to be able to like kind of like catch all around like this. Also, I have to fix the uh, curve step to I think we said uh, eighty two. There we go. That's good. Split into a different thing. Go there, tell them to Z remesh, very low. Um, I'm sure you get asked this a lot. Any brush add-ons or anything you'd recommend people should buy or a good Z brush resource. I'm about to buy y'all's make kit. Um, yeah, well, I mean, we have the make kit for sure. Um, JRO creates a lot of cool things. I've been uh, using it for to do the ornaments uh, here. So uh, yeah, I could recommend uh, this. Yep. I've been catching the VODs on YouTube and finally have been able to catch a stream. Been following you since you made the wasp. Oof, that's a long time ago. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. Much love. All right, cool. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome. All right, let's uh, keep it simple. Let's try to find, like, if I was to do something, like, um, more serious, maybe I would find, like, a, a logo. I would try to find, like, something that really well represents. Um... Actually, you know what? I'm kind of, like, wondering if... Uh... If I find something good, I'll show you. Oh, 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 I think I have to do that. I think I have to do that. Humor me for a second. I think I have to do that.
Okay. Um, all right, I think I got something. Let's see if it let's see if it's gonna work. Let's load an alpha. <laughs> so I'm doing frog from Chrono Trigger, right? In the world of Elden Ring. What if that is the thing that you see on the C from a Chrono Trigger. It doesn't <laughs> with the with the um the ornaments in the art direction and everything. That's pretty fun though. <laughs> uh should I do that? That's going to be not the same thing on the other side, though. Uh, it's really way too different in terms of the art direction. Also, it's a bit cheesy, you know. So, uh, you know, I never mind. Let's just put something. Uh, once again, from JRO's kit. Little flower, it could be cool. That's nice, that cross thing. A bit higher. Oh, do I want something on the ones on the bottom? Or maybe a more complex here. Hmm. The frequency of detail is much higher than the rest, and it's kind of like distracting. So you see the, the difference in frequency of detail between like this area and this area is still like a bit high. And when those things happen, I just find it too distracting. It's it's best to have like a frequency of detail that is more similar. Thanks for the follow. That's cool, that's cool. All right, let's go back to these ones here. And we can see that the, uh, the button is a bit uh, offset. Yeah, that works well. Uh, 
All right, that's cool. Yeah, I think now we can consider this uh, complete. All right. So let's collapse into layers everything. Okay. And let's merge everything as well in the same lay in the same subtool. Uh, I'll save before that though. And with that, we did a pretty important part of the character, so that's cool. All right, let's... Um... Let's copy-paste that tool. I... Was, uh, whatever. Okay, so merge everything. Let's reconstruct reconstruct the subdivisions. I'll have at least three subdivision yeah, that I can reconstruct to, which is good enough. All right. So chest armor. Let's load the posed file. And let's replace it. Let's use the gizmo for that since it's a uh... oops, arm of symmetry. So since I modeled it on top, there should be a, an angle and everything that this fits well on top. So we're almost there. Yeah, there are there are some stuff we'll need to push around, but
Okay, and I'll keep the um, I'll keep the chest piece here, just uh, like in a backup folder up here. Yeah, thanks for the follow. And there we go. And we have one of the pieces of my high res here done. What I like to do sometimes is just put uh, everything on the, um, like just the, the just put the finished piece in um, color. It kind of like helps me to see like what is. Um, what is done and what needs to be done. That would pretty much look like that. We are, that's how far we are in the, uh, in the high res. And, um, so there's like a weathering pass to do on the uh, on the the armor, but uh, I will actually uh, do that another time because uh, because it's late. It's late, but that that was a pretty um, intense um, part of the character to do. Like the gauntlet, the gauntlet is going to take some time. The chest was a big one here. Uh, this leg. Also, this legged armor is uh, uh, this uh, armored leg is going to take some time as well. So, um, so yeah, but I still wanted to start with like one of the ornament armor because um, yeah, it just like gives you a bit of a, an idea of yeah how things are gonna go. Yeah, it's done. Done for today, done for today. So we got a little frog, our little frog here, a little frog friend. And, uh, yep. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna, he's gonna look cool in the end. All right, let's, uh, let's see what Chad is saying. Hey, Marco, them question How are you dragging the alpha along the center w without the alpha doubling up? on each side. Oh, it's just this dexterity. No, no, it's just finding the right, <laughs> the right pixel. <laughs> uh, how are you just dragging the alpha? Um, it's, it's, uh, it's just the, op the, 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 the drag dot, uh, stroke. Uh, Minty dreamy work is amazing. Well, thanks. I appreciate that. Uh, clap, clap. Thanks, Matt. Chainmail. Yeah, eventually, chainmail. I'll make uh, another one uh, of better quality. Dude, I never used Drag Dot in like my seven years of ZBrush. Uh, but you should try. <laughs> it's it's a pretty good one. It's a pretty good tool. Yeah, that's cool. I'm happy of uh happy of the details and everything of the work. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome. So uh did I save? Let's save again. So yep, that's it, that's it. Thanks everyone for joining once again. Uh yeah, I mean uh is there anything to say? Hmm. Is there really anything to say? <laughs> okay, well, I guess, yeah, I can say that. Um, so if uh, you wish to follow us on uh, any of our platforms, uh, Instagram, Discord, blah, 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 whatever, uh, the link at the bottom of the screen uh, here is for my company, Chaos Masons, and this one is uh, the links for my own uh, stuff. Like, for example, if you go on the link for Chaos Masons, uh, so you'll see, uh, we've got our website, we've got a discord, 
We got a store where you can buy tutorials and collectibles and stuff like that. We have a gun robe for the same things. We have an Instagram. We see our website. That's our store. We got a couple of things here. Um, STLs, tutorial, all that fun stuff. Uh, our website, if you want to see more of our work, companies we worked for, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, we got a Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff. Woo, Instagram, yeah. And uh, yeah, exactly. Our Twitch, our YouTube, where you can view uh, what we just recorded as well. So uh, all that stuff, you can uh, come and uh, check it out. Join our Discord and whatnot. And um, yeah. Um, oh, you have an art. Thanks for the sub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. That's great. That's great. Missed the stream, but I will rewatch the VOD. Yep, that's what YouTube is there for. We uploaded there, so uh, please do, please do.